Hey Gemini, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Gems, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Let's tap into your energy, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Messages for my Gemini Collective Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Let's see what is going on with my Gemini Collective. Clear messages for Gemini Spirit. Please and thank you. What is going on for Gemini? Hearing something about clarity coming through. All right, there could be some communication coming to you. Okay, about something. There could be some paperwork here that you're having to sign or maybe you have to deal with a lot of paperwork right now. Okay, so make sure you get on top of that, Gemini, if that's something that you're having to do. Okay, so let's see. What's going on for Gemini Spirit? All right, so we have dirty money, illegal activity. Hmm. That could be what this paperwork is about <laughs> for, I don't know if it's for you or somebody else. Okay, yeah, taking action, finally doing something. Love bomb, manipulation, love potion number nine. <laughs> yeah, then we have Miss Cole, unresponsive. Let's see, one more for Gemini. We have rejected, can't sit with us. Let me see what that one was. Avoidance, dissociation. So yeah, you are <clears throat> moving away from somebody here. You could have rejected somebody here that's love bombing you. That's kind of like, you know, being a narcissist because that's what love bombing is. You know, when people love bomb you, that's a narcissistic tactic. Okay. Um, hmm. So somebody here could be calling you or wanting you to like pick up the phone so that you can help them with something here, Gemini. All right, for some of you, that's the case. Maybe it's, this is somebody in your energy. All right, so make sure you flip and switch the roles, all right, and just take what resonates. So let's see. Yeah, with the King of Principles right here, so I'm saying stability. Yeah, five of wands, fighting and shit. About your money, about something that you're building. Just saw the devil with the three of swords. <clears throat> yeah let's see what is this dirty money right here for Gemini what does this mean somebody could have tried to put a spell on you like a love spell <laughs> or something to make you confused you know What's this dirty money for Gemini? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, something definitely about money. So I feel like somebody could be realizing something about an investment they made. All right, now somebody is second guessing it. I feel like, too, this is where I'm getting that contract that you have to sign. Or it could be a contract or paperwork like I was getting. Somebody could have signed themselves into something. Or if you're about to sign something, you need to take a second look at it. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles, this is reviewing, taking your time here. Because I feel like somebody is seeing that something is off about something. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't look right. It's I'm getting like a too good to be true type of energy, type of vibe. So, yeah, take a second look. Yeah, because with the Three of Swords here, I feel like it could be ending in heartbreak. Three of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Devil. This is like somebody signing themselves over to the Devil. Okay, for some money or something like that. Somebody has sold their soul for some money. Or this is what somebody's into. Maybe you didn't realize that. Because the Seven of Pentacles usually talks about something here that's going to grow. Okay, um, reaping the benefits of your harvest, whatever you're planting, the seeds that you're planting. You could potentially reap the benefits of it. But I feel like, I, I don't know. Somebody could be trying to get you to do something illegal with your money. Maybe you already are at the Seven of Pentacles. And they're like, well, you should invest that in this and invest that in that. And it's like, mm, I feel like you should take a second look. But what else for dirty money, illegal activity? Some of you guys could be looking at your money thinking like, maybe I need to do something illegal. <laughs> okay, yeah, wow. King of Pentacles, see, yeah. 
So uh, I'm definitely getting um, stability, security, okay? This guy has something to do with a job or maybe somebody in business trying to invest here or something like that. But I feel like your money looks good. You're stable. You're secure. So don't let nobody fuck your money up, okay? I don't know. What, what else for the dirty money with the seven of principles, king of principles? Okay, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands again with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This bitch, this person, yeah, King of Wands. This person is trying to get your ass locked up. <laughs> okay, this person, it just sounds like to me, they're, when, I, when I see the King of Pentacles like this and the Queen of Wands, I'm getting just like a flighty energy. Okay, I feel like you're stable, you're secure, and then there's somebody else around you that's just like, I don't know. This Queen of Wands is my mistress card. They always give me the card of like a bitch trying to set you up, you know, <clears throat> or something like that. All right. This could be this person getting some illegal money here, but let's see. Because I do see a betrayal. What's the Seven of Pentacles? So this person could be, because the Queen of Wands is usually somebody that's a hard worker. They're, you know... This is somebody that I feel like they have their hands in a lot of shit, right? Maybe a lot of things that you don't know about or something like that. Okay, yeah, the emperor, yeah, stability, security. Somebody trying to get you hemmed up, Gemini, or your person. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Aries. Yeah, it's like... Mm -hmm. This could be your masculine here that's caught up into some... Caught up in some, like, legal legalities here where they're noticing that they... Where they're, investing their money into what's y'all hear them crows that those are that's a good omen when you hear them in the morning that means you're gonna have a good day and things are transforming but sometimes they can mean magic they can mean dark magic um or an impending death okay it just depends but what's the emperor Okay, yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, whoever this is, so this is good. All right, so this is good. I feel like it's been a hard decision to move away from something, but I feel like somebody's using their intuition to, to guide them here with the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is spirit guiding you or this person away. All right, so I feel like somebody is doing that. Somebody could be relocate, relocating. They're moving. This is moving on to karma waters here. Some of you guys could really be taking your business elsewhere, looking somewhere else to invest or... This is just, it's something here about your stability, maybe, obviously. But I'm getting, some of you guys could be relocating here, your business. You could have a business that's like worldwide or something. And you're, you know, just trying to plant little seeds everywhere to get your name out there. But it could be anything, right? But I'm getting the emperor is stable. They're secure. They're a boss. So you guys, you guys could be a manager or you own a business. Yeah, some of you guys are just moving. You're relocating. Maybe you have better business somewhere else. But I'm just getting your spirit guides are guiding you away from a mess. Okay. What's the King of Pentacles? Because um, I'm hearing something about your father. You could be getting advice from your father about something. Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah. So I'm getting feminine energy here with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Then we have Pisces. So this could be a feminine here or you could be the feminine. All right. Or something like that. Somebody's trying to balance their masculine and feminine possibly. But I'm getting for some of you guys, you can have a spiritual practice here. Some of you guys are very stable, you're secure, you're in your purpose. And that's why you're stable, you're secure, because you are doing what you're supposed to be doing for God here. So with the high priestess, I'm definitely getting following your intuition, listening to your heart here, doing what spirit is asking you to do, keeping everything quiet. All right. Yeah, I feel like you're very defensive. You're blocking something off because you know that somebody's trying to put your ass in the five of pentacles. All right, I feel like you put somebody in the five of pentacles. Yeah, you're moving forward. Just period. Just period. So, yeah, that's good. What's the queen of wands? Seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person here is money hungry. They're trying to trap your ass or get you to miss an opportunity. I feel like you see them clear, though, with the seven of cups in reverse. But, yeah, they're definitely trying to set your ass up. <laughs> For a fact, three of pentacles with the damn eight of swords. This is a contract here. And they're working hard to get you into this contract. This person dibs and dabs into a lot of shit that you possibly don't know about. And they're mad because you see right through it. You're awakened or somebody is. You're, you're masculine. Okay, they could have feminine energy, obviously, in their chart. Everybody does. But maybe they could have it in them. 
um, sun, moon, rising. I don't know, but somebody could be on the Taurus, Aries cusp. Somebody could be a Scorpio, Venus, Aquarius, Mercury, possibly. So yeah, what, what else for this Queen of Wands with the Seven of Cups in reverse? The Seven of Cups in reverse is somebody that's really focused on material wealth. Bro, them crows, I don't know, what the fuck. Um, two of Wands kind of like came out sideways. So yeah, this is this person strategizing, planning, you know, doing all type of shit to get somebody to be trapped, okay? And I feel like somebody here is... And this bitch is having a real wake up call because they can't trap nobody. Two of Wands is anticipating, waiting. This could be um, travel. This could be just, I feel like this could possibly be you turning your back. But I feel like this is this whole waiting for something. They're waiting to see if you're going to come back or arrive. Or it's like, no, you're moving forward. This person is delusional. <laughs> They're quite delusional. Them crows. 11 11 on the timer. So it could be a good omen here. You're aligned, you're getting into alignment here, Gemini. Something is coming into alignment. Yeah, here we go with the King of Pentacles again, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, and the judgment. Yeah. Somebody has made a decision to hold on to their fucking money. Somebody's money hungry. Whoever this is. <clears throat> this is Queen of Wands Ho. They're really money hungry. They really don't want somebody to be stable. They want somebody to take care of their ass. What's this taking action? Finally doing something. All right, yeah, Page of Wands and the Strength card, Leo Energy. So, yeah, I'm definitely getting a new outlook on life is what I got with this Page of Wands. I'm getting, some of you guys could be definitely, like I said, starting a new creative project or definitely just um, taking a risk here that I feel like you're going to be able to, excuse me, it's going to uh, make you happy. This could be, like I said, communication coming in, excuse me, from someone, okay, but I definitely feel like you're overcoming these challenges though. I feel like you're strengthening again. Somebody is strengthening because maybe at first I feel like somebody fell for someone's games a lot. All right. And it's like no more of that shit. I feel like you're just looking forward to your future. <clears throat> but I'm definitely saying communication could be coming. All right. Or this is you um letting your creative juices flow, okay, with a project or something. <clears throat> but I'm seeing you gain confidence here, or somebody's gaining confidence maybe to reach out to you. Okay, maybe they're finally getting ready to say something, this emperor, this king of pentacles. Or you could be this king of pentacles, they could be the emperor or something like that. But let's take an action. Okay, yeah, it's in a source. So, yeah, an ending. Somebody could have a Virgo Mercury. The worst of a situation being over. Something is just over here. Yeah, something is over. Somebody got an Aries Mars. A lot of Aries. So yeah, that's that's over with. Something is over. What's this page of wands? A betrayal or a harsh Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody could be on a Libra Scorpio cusp. So they're they're Okay, what's this Queen of Swords in reverse? There's a lot of gossiping this bitch is doing. Whoever this is, it's got something to do with this Queen of Wands. This person is bitter. Somebody is very fucking bitter. They're gossiping and talking all type of shit. Okay, what's the Queen of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the moon. Something has came out about their ass. That's why this person's intuition is also blocked because I feel like they were abusing it. <clears throat> they were using manipulation tactics here. So, Cancer, Pisces, energy with the moon. With this moon in reverse, something has came out. Something has been revealed about this person. All right. And um, I feel like you're not scared of this hoe no more. Somebody's not scared of this person anymore. They're moving away from fear. This this person does a bunch of talking and a bunch of stupid shit. Okay. And they're a liar. This person is a pathological liar. This is somebody here that does, gives bad advice as well. Somebody's just a loser. Yeah, this person is very shallow. And I feel like somebody has found out that this person here is weak. Because with the Queen of Swords in reverse, they're really not as clear as direct as they proclaim that they are. They talk a lot of shit. They do a lot of this and that. But they're really not. They really are a punk, really, is what I'm getting with this person. They are. And what's the strength card? 
So that's this child. That's a challenge that somebody here is overcoming. Yeah, the hangman. Yeah, a little bit of stagnant or stuck energy, but I'm getting this is releasing. More so releasing than you are stuck is what I'm getting. All right. Yeah, with the hangman Pisces energy, I feel like you're realizing a lot. You're seeing a lot. You're seeing something for what it is and you're letting it go. You've definitely been enlightened here. And God is giving you that power and that strength to overcome this bullshit with this person. What's the Ten of Swords? Yeah, Four of Swords. Somebody could have a Libra Jupiter. So healing. Yeah, healing. Maybe some of you guys are trying to do some... Uh, you know, uh, incorporate maybe some more spiritual practice <clears throat> practices into your routine. Meditating. Um burning your sage, burn, lighting your candles here, maybe doing a little bit of rituals every now and then, but I'm just getting peace. I feel like you're more peaceful. Things are coming back into balance. Yeah. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yep. And the damn Four of Swords again. Some of y'all could be seeing 444. Strong Libra Jupiter. So yeah, I feel like you're just, you're, you're just, I feel like you're reviewing a lot about your life or about the things that have happened to you here. I feel like you're just healing from that. You're thinking about it. You're letting, well, it would be good to let your emotions come up and release it. But I feel like there's a lot of thinking going on here. I feel like somebody here betrays you when you were asleep. When you were unawakened, they were betraying you. They knew that, that you were not seeing clear. And they did that shit on purpose. They Or they made it worse. Okay. They, they knew that you were not um your full true self. You know what I'm saying? Your, your full authentic self. They knew your potential and they preyed upon it. <laughs> like a loser would okay what's the love bomb what's love bomb here okay eight of swords in reverse somebody can have a gemini jupiter in the full aquarius energy yes yeah, somebody's breaking free from the mental confinement this feeling powerless or hopeless here i feel like somebody is overcoming severe depression but or some type of abuse like it could be mental and emotional abuse here but somebody is breaking free from that shit it's over with. There's a new beginning. Definitely breaking free, getting ready to take a risk here. Starting fresh, starting new. Yeah, I feel like you're unbothered. You're not paying attention to this love bombing bullshit. Yeah, and somebody's mad about it. Five of Wands. It's like you don't give a fuck. What's this love bomb? You don't care. Yeah, Knight of Swords. They're mad. Knight of Swords again with the Twin Flame card. So somebody... Somebody could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp here, Gemini, but I'm getting there's fast action being taken place here. Okay, there's some big changes. Somebody could be rushing towards you here, Gemini. Let's see, who's this Knight of Swords right here? Who's this Knight of Swords? Page of Swords. What's the Knight of Swords with the Page of Swords? A lot of thinking. Somebody stays in their head a lot. This could be another air sign. Could be Aquarius. Yeah, Six of Cups. Somebody is strategizing. This person is strategizing on how to communicate with you. This could have been delayed for a while. Yeah, because they were asleep. They were, or your. this is you, you know? But I'm getting, some of y'all could be taking action as far as your children goes. I don't know what's going on with your kids or this person got kids or something. But definitely this is somebody from your past that I feel like is coming back and thinking about you. A lot of nostalgia, all right? And somebody is like watching you. I feel like they're a bit paranoid, but I feel like this person is overcoming that paranoia, that anxiety, that fearfulness, okay? Somebody is not missing another opportunity. So I see somebody seizing an opportunity. Page of Swords is them reaching out, watching to see when the right time is. Somebody could have a gift for you, okay? But somebody here has tapped into their gifts as well. They're learning a lot. Somebody has learned. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. This person is working on their communication skills as well. This is you. Yeah. Yep. Ace of Cups back of the deck. <clears throat> What's the Eight of Swords in reverse? Yeah. Five of Cups. Yeah. Depression, sadness, grief, always crying and, and down about something. Somebody has overcome that. These feelings of regret, shame, remorse. It's like, I feel like somebody here always people pleases and that's the problem somebody here had to get rid of those people pleasing tendencies but also because maybe of the, the shit that has happened between y'all two they could have been sitting in that for a while it's like you know either you're gonna 
whine about it, cry about it, sit there and not do anything about it, or you're actually going to take action. I feel like somebody now is seeing that that's not them sitting here crying and moping and shit is not going to do anything. It's not going to solve an issue. <laughs> You feel me? And for me personally, I'm all about solving the issue. All that crying and shit. I mean, it's cool. Get it out, but still move on. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you know, I don't know. I guess it's just because I'm just built like that. I'm just really resilient. I don't like to, I like, I feel my emotions and I move past it, you know, because life is a long journey of healing. You're going to heal forever. So it's just like, you got to keep leveling up. You got to keep moving. Ain't no sitting back and, you know, forever. Can't do that. But so yeah, this is somebody here ready to take a risk and come towards you. What's rejected? Or this is you. Uh, what's rejected? Can't sit with us. Okay, yeah, Knight of Wands. What's rejected with the Knight of Wands? Three of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's money hungry. This person here, somebody could have a gambling problem. All right, but somebody here is very irresponsible with their finances. They just they just manage their money poorly. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, and I feel like somebody's more creative than someone or somebody here just does more. They get more shit done. Okay, than somebody else. This is why somebody's being rejected. Somebody here has been using somebody or taking their creative juices with the Knight of Wands here. This person is very creative. They're spontaneous. They, they really... um are confident as well okay i feel like this person or this is you you could be going towards a new partnership obviously right a new job or this person coming towards you for something to work with you <clears throat> but the three of pentacles is definitely a team player somebody that's committed they're dedicated they're a hard worker this could definitely be talking about collaboration here Yeah, it's like somebody is starting a whole new group of something without somebody else or multiple people that just are lazy and they're, they're users. Just period. Yeah, somebody's taking their ideas or they're taking themselves somewhere else. Just period. What's this Knight of Wands? Yeah, Seven of Wands. Somebody got a Leo Mars. Yeah, completely guarded. Completely guarded the empress at the bottom of the deck towards the Libra energy. So yeah, creative juice is flowing. Manifestations coming through. Um, creating different things. Okay. Birthing something new here. It's like, yeah. That shit is... Whatever the shit was is over with. Somebody is very protective, very territorial over something now. It's like they, they will never trust whoever this is again. Somebody here knows that if they take a risk somewhere else, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. What's this three of pentacles? Yep, ace of pentacles. Yeah, ten of cups. For some of you, this is about family, creating a family with somebody, a new relationship dynamic, but also where the money is too. Whatever you're about to get yourself into is what your passion is. I feel like... Yeah, wherever you're going is going to be very inspirational, very motivational for you. It's going to really help you tap in. Yeah, I see the Page of Wands again with the Empress. So if you're the Empress here, a Divine Feminine, yeah, with the Emperor, your person could be coming to reach out because y'all are counterparts. Y'all are supposed to be together <laughs> to work together or whatever the fuck, you know, but somebody was not in the right place. Okay, but definitely more um, work opportunities coming towards you, more money is going to come towards you. Definitely a new beginning where your material world is going to look really good here because I feel like you're going to be in your purpose. You're going to be doing something that you're supposed to be doing. So yeah, money will flow to you easily and effortlessly if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, right? Yeah, so I see definitely something new coming through here. And whoever this is coming towards you is going to put in the time, effort. They're up for a challenge <laughs> with the Seven of Wands. They're up for the challenge. Like they're... <clears throat> you know what's this knight of pentacles in reverse three of wands yeah turning your back on whoever the fuck this is what's this knight of pentacles in reverse with the three of wands right here could definitely be an aries yeah justice yeah libra energy so I i'm just getting balance being restored karmic justice is here like i said it could be a court situation too because somebody is into some illegal activity 
Yeah, something about to blow up in somebody's face with the, the tower and the five of pentacles. Somebody is getting ready to be broke as fuck because of what they did. <clears throat> yeah, justice is karmic justice, violence. You know, what goes up must come down. What goes around comes around type energy. So somebody here could be waiting on a court situation to fall through or to be done with, to be dealt with here. Okay. Yeah, somebody's gonna have to pay for whatever the fuck they did. They did something crazy. And three of wands is growth, expansion. So, and this could also be traveling, relocating. Somebody could be moving. Some of you guys could be getting a new home or a new car here. And somebody's gonna add value to whatever you, you're building, Gemini. Whoever this is, they got caught up in this mess with this karmic. They're coming to add value to you here. They're not coming to destroy anything. That's their intentions. Is what I'm getting with this. And if somebody has plans on doing something again to somebody, they ask is really going to get it. So let's pull from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms uh, deck for Gemini. So we have the chess queen, trust and strategizing. Yeah, I'm getting the queen of swords upright with this. The keeper of the scales, fairness, balance. So Libra energy could be significant. Strong Libra, maybe. A lot of air. <clears throat> Strong Aries, Pisces as well. Two Pisces cards here. Let's see the chess queen. Page 84. Let's see what it says. So it says, I lie. The chess queen has all the tools you need to aid you in your quest for a life of purpose. Yeah, purpose, peace, and prosperity. I feel like this is you. You're the queen of swords upright. Somebody here is the queen of swords in reverse. They're a liar. They, they strategize to manipulate people. That's what their strategy was. Yeah, this person is going to reach out to you or reach out to this person. And I feel like you just need to keep going forward or your person does. <laughs> Something has already, already been revealed about this whole. That's why I feel like they're a loser. They're just disturbed mentally because it's like, bitch... You've already been seen as a fucking loser. So why the fuck do you keep trying to come back? So it says, when she arrives as your ally, you're given the task of asking spirit for a vision of your life. Ask also to know the right actions to ensure your part in this process of unfolding. Then with a sense of trust, allow the strategy to be given unto you by the divine. Are your own goals and desires in alignment with the divine plan for your life? This is a reminder that there, there is your plan and then there is a divine plan for your life. When you're in alignment with the latter, all manner of messages are delivered to aid you in taking the next right action for your life. The chess queen says that you will win this game as long as you let spirit choose your moves. Yeah. Follow your bliss and the inspired messages delivered by your soul. You cannot lose when you enter the realm of the chess queen and she appears as your ally. So it says your challenger. When the chess queen arrives to challenge you, it simply means that you're living too much in your head, planning, scheming, and strategizing what your future will look like, how, and when it will unfold. Yeah, somebody does do a lot of thinking. They do. Yeah. Remember the saying, man plans and God's, God laughs. You cannot know the power and beauty that is meant for you until you let go and ask for divine guidance. The laws of cause and effect apply here don't dictate what you want as as your wants may be not in your highest good ask instead for the miracle set aside for you and you alone what does spirit want for you perhaps it's time to let go and turn your life over to the care of a higher power you can never lose when spirit plays the game of life on your behalf yeah that's what's happening i feel like somebody has re-strategized or replanned something because they're listening to their spirit guides okay they're listening it's like now there's a plan here strategy and now there's action being taken. But definitely somebody's trying to work against you, though. They are. Mm -hmm. There could be somebody in your friend group or something like that that is a deadbeat or they fucking... I don't know. They're just, they just lazy. They're very superficial, very materialistic. Okay, so just be mindful. But this was your reading, Gemini. I hope it resonated. All right, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. 
make sure you guys um, press the all button so you guys don't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.